بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Because you put money in this bank they could what if they came tomorrow and said you know what all the money is worth nothing anymore we're not taking this money anymore. we're going to create a new money because this money is worth nothing now so we create new money your money is worth nothing there's no guarantee that you're going to have it the bank down the street goes out of business there's no guarantee you're going to get your money back but when you give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your deeds, He becomes the guarantor, He becomes the surety, He becomes the trustee over those deeds, and you are guaranteed to get them back with interest. It's the only riba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies the deeds with interest manifold that you cannot even begin to understand. So, this is our mind frame, and I'm finished. This is what we need to be thinking about. What are we doing? Who are we trying to please? What am I doing in my daily life? Am I trying to be pleasing to Allah or am I compromising my deen in order to make people like me? Because let me guarantee you they never like you. Let me guarantee you they never like you. But when you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sahaba did, the world will come running to us. Allah will give us the world because we are worthy of having it. We ask now, oh Ya Allah, give us a world, a khilafa. And I'm like, no, 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 please don't do that now. If Allah was to give us the world right now, we would destroy it. In probably six months, we have to move to Mars. We can barely run our own masjids. You talking about giving us the world, man? No, we're not ready. We're not ready. We need to get ready. We need to prepare the way to be ready. We're asking for something we're not ready for. We need to get ready for it insha'Allah ta'ala. We need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us ready for this task. To be His khilafa on this earth. We need to ask Him for this sincerely and check our intentions and check our deeds. And check our actions and see where it is that we're going. And let me tell you, all of this stuff we're amassing in this world, all of this stuff where they're trying to collect, means nothing man. You want to own something. My first shaykh taught me this very early as a Muslim. You want to own something? You may think you own something now. You may think you own your money. You don't own your money, you own some paper. That the government says what it's worth. You think you own your car. You don't own your car. Don't pay insurance on it. Don't pay your taxes on it. You may think you own a house. Surely don't pay your property taxes on your house and see what happens. You own nothing. You own nothing in this dunya. You can't take anything of it with you. The only things that you own are the things that you give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. That's the only thing you own. Because as soon as you give something for Allah, Allah holds it and gives it back to you. That includes everything, not just money. That includes your time. Every second that you give to Allah belongs to you. Every second that you spend chasing this dunya, you've lost it. You lost it. Every action that you do sincerely for Allah belongs to you. Every action that you do for something else, you've lost it, you've wasted it. So let us not waste any more time, dear brothers and sisters. Time, time is running out, man. Time is running out. And if we don't decide whether we're going to be with it or against it, then I guarantee Allah is going to make the decision for us. There is coming a time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make the decision for us. For who is against Him? For who is with him or who is against him. And we don't want to be on the outside when the gate is closed on that day, insha'Allah ta'ala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad, wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad.